Good morning YouTube. Today is the 9th of May 2015 and we're looking at my African Violet and today I'm going to teach you how to, re how to pollinate the uh, African Violet to get a seed pod. So you remember this? This is the seed pod we have here, right here. I'm just pointing it out. Uh, I hope you can see it right there. Now the petal has uh, the petals have all withered away and the seed pod is developing nicely. So what we're going to do today is choose a flower and pollinate. So how to choose a flower? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pollinate. I'm going to mix the two. This is the white one, the white uh, African violet, with the pale blue, which is this one. So I'm going to replicate what I did here. So I'm going to take the white pollination, white pollen, and put in the blue flower. And I'm going to also do the reverse, blue to white. So then we will see the seedlings. What is the difference between which uh, parent was uh, made the seed pod? So which is, which was the female plant and which was the male plant? And see if there's any difference in the seeds. It's just a curiosity. I don't know if there would be or not. So, how do we choose a flower? To choose a pollen donor, we have to choose an older flower. So let's say this one, this is an older flower, if you can see. Uh, it's all plants, uh, the petals are withered, so let's, let's pluck it out. So, they say the older the flower is, drier is the pollen. So, we are going to look at this older flower, I'm going to put it aside. And we're going to choose a young flower as the recipient. So uh, here is a young flower. Uh, it has just opened. As you can see, it is still a lovely flush of purple here. It's just opened. So that will be a good recipient. And we may try one or two others just to be sure. Here's another new, new open flower. So those would be the recipients. And the pollen would actually be from the, the white flowers. So let's turn it around. <clears throat> so here again let's choose an older flower so here is one you see and let's choose another dry one it looks quite dry these flowers so this okay so um uh, let's not get too carried away by the age, maybe a sort of a semi-dry, a semi-old would be good too. Because they say the pollen actually dries out on the older flower and it spreads better. So here's n a not that old, but uh, still dying. So the combination is old lady, uh, old man and young lady. That's the combination. So May, December. The young is the female and the old is the male. All right, uh, we'll come back in a second. Okay, so here I have the three white flowers we chose for the pollen donor. So here are the pollen sacs. We just take them out like that. Off they go. Oops, flew away. Here is one. Here is another. I'm just going to take them out like that. And more there okay so now we have all the pollen sacs here so what we're going to do is release the pollen from it so the way to simply do it is to apparently cut it with your nail just like that so here can you see all the powder coming out in my hand yeah this is the pollen powder oops all got try again just uh, cut the two ah there see all this beautiful pollen got released so this we are going to put it on the flower all right I'm going to just collect some more and make sure I have a good amount
So here it is. I picked up some uh, pollen dust uh, on the brush and we're going to put it on the female part of the flower here, the long spiky thing. Can you see? Yeah, just going to dust it. I'm going to put some on the petals so I know what flower it was. So it becomes, I'm picking up some more pollen from the plate here. And let's find another flower nearby that might be a good receptacle. So I hope you can see here. Just going to randomly use something. And maybe this one. Because you've got lots of flowers. We take a chance on all of them. So, and then we can see the developing seed pods. Oh, here's a nice young one. So, I'm going to use it. There, it's nicely sticking. The brush is really efficient in you doing this. So, uh, I think we have pollinated enough, three or four flowers, and we should be able to see the seed pods soon enough. If these are young enough, good flowers, uh, we should be able to see the seed pods here. Yeah, that's nicely doused there. Maybe some more. Why not? All these ladies waiting to uh, get their life's purpose met, and that is to bear fruit. So, here's some more here. Alright, so we've got a few flowers here. The way to identify which pollen flowers you did which is to tie a little little bit of yarn around it or some thread to show that which flowers pollinated. Okay, so that's from the white to the blue. So now I'm going to wash away all the pollen and start again. <coughs> I have to get rid of all this. I start again, clean my brush and start again with the blue, the blue to the white also. All right. Okay, so now choosing an old blue flower for the female flower, which is going to be the white one. So let's, let's find an old blue flower. Oh, here's some nice dry pollen looking. Good yield of pollen here. I'm trying to do it without disturbing the other pollinated flowers. Of course, in nature, nobody's that delicate. So here, some nice dry pollen sacs. What happened here? Yeah, pollen sacs. And I will take a semi-old flower, if not, uh, how about that, does that look, does that look good to you? Let's see, uh, just looks so wilted, it's not old really, so let's get an older, yeah, okay, here's a nice old flower that's kind of dying, alright, so we got a few pollen sacks, and a fresh clean plate. I'll show you the fresh clean plate. And I've washed the brush and nicely dried it. So off we go. here come the pollen sacks. We take them out, pluck them out. Here we go. And these actually these dry ones are really good. Yeah. So off they go the pollen sacks. And I'm going to, what I've been trying to do is do it with a knife, sort of cut it open. See, the older one is already dusting. Already the dust is there, even with a little bit of touching. So maybe just with my nail even, I can just open up the pollen. See, the younger one is not yielding, yielding as much. The older one just comes open like a keg of powder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to collect, just tease it out a bit more and use the brush and I'll show you how to put it on the white flower. I'm going to choose the white flower. Yes, so here's the pollen from the blue flowers. I actually sort of minced the sacks a little bit with a knife. So I've got lots of pollen on the the uh, plate. So where's the brush? Oh, here it is. Okay. So now I'm going to collect the dust on the brush like that. Actually, I wonder how in nature it manages to do this because as what opens up the sacks? Because they're a little bit hard-shelled 
So, okay. So here's a nice dusting of pollen, and we're going to pollinate the white flower. Okay. So here are the beautiful white flowers, and I've been searching around looking for a young flower, like remember, old uh, old man, young lady. So I'm looking at I, what I think might be freshly opened flowers. They're a little bit inside there. So we're going to take the pollen that is on the brush and we're going to apply it to the sticky part that is the long sticky part that is here. That is the thing that sticks up from the flower. Get some more pollen here and over here just dusting with the pollen. I hope something sticks or holds because I'm not so sure about the the youngness of these flowers. They seem a little spent. But anyway, we'll give it a try. I know the, it's clearer, easier to see the, the spike in the blue flowers, harder to see it in the white flowers because the spike is white. See, so I'm just dusting. So I'm going to dust as many as I can in the hopes that some will catch. So what we have done today is pollinated the blue and the white uh, African violet. So the blue father to the white mother and white fa father to the blue mother and we see the difference. Uh, I will try and collect the pod seeds separately and see what happens. This is going to be a fairly long experiment. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So I'm not going to pluck off any flowers or deadhead any of them here because I don't know which one are going to catch the seed pods. But within two, three weeks we should see the results. So let's see here also pretty random. So we've got blue pollen on the white flowers. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay. So I'm qu I've taken a close up because it's hard to see the white female part or the white on white with the white African violet. So here we are. I just want to show you where I put it. So here. Can you see this white part? So I'm going to brush it with pollen right there. Uh, let's find another one here. I hope you can see it. I'm taking this specially so that you can actually see the part that I'm talking about here. So anyway, you get the idea. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's one that's clearly visible. Yes. Can you see this? This part? Yeah. So that's where we put it. So here is the flower, the pollen, and here is the sticky part. The white thing that sticks up. So that's how we do it. Alright, I hope it takes. Alright, thanks for watching.